Now, for the oppressed, as Africans, we can hope that the oppressors can do the right thing, but we cannot depend on it. We need to take our fate into our own hands. We have a responsibility to deal with our own truth, and it starts with this. <laughs> this is the seed. This is the seed that gave birth to Hitler and his doctrine. This is the seed that gave birth to the KKK, the apartheid in South Africa, the Rwandan genocide, and people of color bleaching their skin across the globe till this day as we speak. And the list goes on. This is not even biblical. If you read the Bible, it specifically tells us not to create any images in the form of a man or a woman or any creature on earth. This is idolatry. And again, if you read the Bible, there's nothing that God hates more than idol worship. You know, we need to take down these false images and worship God in spirit and in truth. This needs to be taken down from every single church in Africa. This right here is the real issue here in Africa because you can go to some of the rural parts of Africa and you find images of white Jesus. And some of you live in areas where the first time you ever saw a white person, they were represented as a God. So why use a white person as a, a false image to represent God? You know, as Africans globally, we need to question every aspect of Christianity, especially if it cuts us off from our own spirituality and the spirituality of our ancestors. Uh-huh.